Mm. Man. Wagwan, wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, today I'll be showing you how to make some Jamaican pumpkin punch. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. And we are back. As I said before, we're making some Jamaican pumpkin punch. You know, we are in the season of Halloween, pumpkin season, as well as we're in Thanksgiving season here in Canada and in the US in November. So here October, we're going to be making some pumpkin punch because we have a lot of pumpkin this time around. And we can make this all year round. So see without further delay, let's jump right into the recipe. To kickstart our recipe, I have here one pound and 10 ounces of pumpkin. Now, there's a difference with this pumpkin. This is your Jamaican pumpkin. Look at it, take a close look. This is what our Jamaican pumpkin looks like. I bought this at my local Caribbean store. You can get this in some Walmarts here in Canada. Right? But check out your local Caribbean store for your Jamaican pumpkin. However, if you cannot find this pumpkin, feel free to go ahead and use the Canadian or American pumpkin. It should work. So you grab a paring knife, a pair of paring knife, pun intended, and we're just going to peel that. Don't dig too deep within the skin. We don't have to be fully perfect. Remove a little bit of the middle here. Not too much. Alright, so I'm just going to cut these into manageable cubes. So we can get them to cook quicker. So you just cut those into nice little chunks. And there you go. So now we're just going to wash these nice and clean. So I have here two and a half quarts of water. I'm going to add to that the peeled and washed pumpkins. Alright. And next up, I'm going to go in a quarter teaspoon of salt. I like to put salt in anything that has sugar or milk in it because it balances out that sweetness and just gives you it. It doesn't stick you with just pure sweetness that it feels irritating. It smooths out the sweetness. So I like to put a little bit of salt and it also helps to flavor the pumpkin while cooking. Right? Too much salt, it's going to taste salty. And it's a sweet beverage, right? So it's going to boil these for about 15 to 20 minutes or until fork tender. So let's go. We're just going to cover this and allow it to boil quicker. Alright. Here we go. And if you realize, we reduce so about half the amount of the liquid all right so just scrape down the sides just gonna allow this to cool and there you go nice and fork tender so now we have our pumpkin cooled to an extent just gonna go ahead into our blender liquid and everything you do not want to throw this water off Hence why you should make sure you wash your pumpkin thoroughly. Pour the liquid in. We're just going to blend that smooth. Beautiful. We're going to pour that into a clean container and as you can see it's nice and smooth. No need for straining as I said unless you have one of those blenders that doesn't blend stuff as smooth as mine. Rich as it is. Look at that. Whoa. Still a little bit warm. That's okay. And if I had a big enough blender what I would have done is I'd blend everything together, but I don't, right? So to flavor this drink, you can use Supplegen or you can use Nutriment. In my era, I cannot find any Supplegen, so Nutriment is similar to that of Supplegen, and this is in the vanilla flavor, right? I'm just gonna go in, the can was already washed, and this is, I'm gonna say 350 ml, 
just gonna go in with the entire can. This will help to give it a little bit of thickness as well as flavor. You can use either Guinness or Dragon. Well, you know me, Dragon is my favorite drink. So we're gonna be using Dragon, right? Now we're gonna go in with not all the Dragon, because kids are gonna have some. I'm gonna go in with about half the bottle. And one bottle is 284. I'm gonna go in half the bottle of that Dragon Stout. Next up, we're going to go in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract, pure vanilla extract. Ooh, smell the flavor already. And then we're going to hit that about a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. But I want to sift this in because I'm not using a blender. I don't want any lumps. So we sift that in to prevent lumping, right? We're going to grate some fresh nutmeg. When they use the, the pre-grated nutmeg, I find that it's a little bit bitter. I like the fresh nutmeg and I just grate at least a quarter teaspoon in there. Wow! Finally, some condensed milk can has already been washed and at this point, you can go in with a quarter cup, a half cup amount that you want based on the tolerance that you can have with sweetness. Measure that out or sweeten to taste. There we go. Go into a half a cup of the condensed milk. And we're just gonna give that a stir with a whisk. As I said before, if you have a big enough blender, you don't have to remove anything. You just do everything in one. And just mix that in. Whew. So if you don't wanna drink Dragon or Guinness, you can add Malta to this recipe for the um, alcohol-free version. Give that a taste. Oh, look at that. When you're making drinks, your pastries, you don't want to overpower with that um, cinnamon and nutmeg. Cinnamon and nutmeg, trust me, a little goes a long way. Don't use too much because you're going to overpower everything. Just need a little bit in there to just elevate the flavor. Let's give that a taste. <laughs> oh my days! I ain't going to lie to you. Need a little bit more milk. But everything else, phenomenal. So, three quarters of the can I'll be using. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, like that. That is it, my friends. Guess what we're going to do now? We're going to allow this to cool down in the fridge freezer any way you take it or you can pour that over ice but I'm not rush it because I still have my turkey to make this man says so I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for just chill so let me wrap it up with some plastic wrap so wrap it up a little more pour it out find a place for you very look nice so after about Two or three hours, I'll be back. Our juice is well chilled. Look at that. Beautiful. Just give that a final mix. Just to get everything going. I'm gonna get myself a funnel. Get a nice scoop. And we're gonna pour. This is smelling so good. There you have it. Wow. Mm. Man. Mm -mm. That is beautiful. Not too thick, not too thin. It's beautiful. Mm -mm. Rich, creamy. Oh man, not too sweet. There you go. I don't know what to say. 
pumpkin punch. It a thump. If you tap with them, can you joke? Oh, who would have thought that this thing could have made this thing? We do this thing. Let me do this thing. Answer these things. Thank you very much for watching. See so if you did learn something new and enjoyed this video, and I say you make your pumpkin punch, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And say so if you love my vibe, hit subscribe. You see, until next time, see if chop up on the gravel and go and big up on yourself. Yeah, man, I eat. Mm mm. Can't done, you know. I'm going to carry something for the farm. Try. You know the vibe.